sliding is a technique that can add a vocal quality to your playing and make it sound more expressive. In this lesson, I'll show you how to incorporate slides into your lead playing. So what is a slide? A slide is created by striking a note and shifting on the same string to another fret or note. This allows us to connect notes smoothly and creates a unique effect that adds character and style to the notes that are played. There's quite a few ways to play a slide, so let's walk through some of the more common techniques. Now let's try sliding upward. We're going to be on the G string with our first finger, sliding from 5 to 7. So starting on 5, squeezing our finger, sliding up. It's important here to maintain pressure throughout the slide. So you got to keep squeezing, even though it feels kind of funny, going over those frets. Definitely something you have to get used to. Once you go from 5 to 7, landing on 7, let the note ring out. This is a slur between two notes with just one pick. Holding that finger there, letting it ring out. So let's try a different one. This one we're going to be on the D string, sliding up to 7 from 5, and then picking the 3rd G string. So on the 5th fret with my 3rd finger, sliding up to 7, maintaining the pressure, holding down the string, and then picking on the 3rd string with our 1st finger on the 5th fret. So definitely take time when you're practicing these slides, go slow and become familiar with the feeling. It can change from string to string. On the thicker strings, it's a little easier. On the skinnier strings, you're going to have more of a feeling of, of going over these frets and you can kind of get stuck on them. So experiment with different fingers, different strings, and also on each string, you've got pitch. So if you're going up towards the bridge, the pitch is going up. If you're going down towards the headstock, pitch is going down as well. Let's take a look at the down slide. This is the same technique as before. We're going to be starting on the seventh fret of the G string with our first finger, sliding down to five. Once again, maintaining the pressure throughout the whole slide and letting it ring once we get to the fifth fret. Then when we're comfortable, let's add a lick. So we're going to go 7 to 5 and then finish with a pick, down pick, on the 7th fret of the D string. With our 3rd finger. One more time on that. There's your down slide. Now let's look at a legato sliding technique which allows us to slide both up and down. Here's what it sounds like. So starting off, I got my third finger on the seventh fret, and we're going to legato slide up and down, slurring three notes together. Legato just means smooth, so we're smoothing it out without having to pick. So seven, slide up to eight, back to seven, all on the same pick, and then we pick five with our first finger, and then pick seven with our third finger on the D string. Seven, eight, seven, pick five, pick seven. Legato slides are great for adding nuance to your playing. Sometimes we slide into and out of notes with undetermined destinations, not necessarily knowing where we're coming from or where we're going to. But as long as we have a main destination of note, then we can come in and out of it. So for example, 7 to 5. So here, my destination is 7 on the 4th string. I might come from the 4th fret. Maybe even second fret. 
kind of just depends on what we're feeling at the time. Or, for example, coming into the 12th fret on the third string, we might come from the 7th fret or even the 3rd fret. And then coming out of a note, we might let the note fade out by releasing the tension of our fingers anywhere on the neck. So it could be 9 or it could be 5 or any other frets. Also coming in and out would be similar. So come into the note at any point and then come out of the note at any point on the neck. Get comfortable with your slides before speeding up your technique. Try experimenting with these slides all over the neck. Remember, it's all about having the right touch. Too much pressure and it's difficult to move along the string. Too little and your note will disappear. Keep practicing at it and we'll see you next time.